Hello, welcome to another video. So today we're going to have a little look at GNOME BSD, which is based on FreeBSD and is designed to go on sort of a USB flash drive. So it's got persistent storage, so you can make sort of changes and it'll save after boot. Um, I'm going to show you the installation process and then spend a few minutes just looking around the desktop. Um, so let's go forward with the installation. So we need to choose our language and locale. So let's go for United Kingdom. There are some things that need to be set up. The setup will only write to the USB flash drive it is currently running from. It will not change your system. So let's go next. Um, let's just quickly test out our keyboard. And let me just check the at sign. Perfect. Okay. So let's go next. Um, don't need any more of those. Europe, London is right. Okay, the password you choose here will be used for your user account, Nomad, and for the administration account, root. Right, okay, so. I'm going to assume you can add more users later on if you wanted to. Um, so, Nomad allows you to protect your personal file. I don't need, um, I'm not going to bother encrypting it for this video. Ah, nice, you can choose which shell. So, I'm going to choose Bash Editor. Uh, Vim, Leafpad, and Funa. I will leave. What's the alternative? Um, PC Man. For, no, so I'll go with Funa on that one. So let's go next. Let's just check the summary, make sure everything's right. Boom, 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 boom. Yep. So let's commit to that. Setting time zone. Right. So it's going to sort of install to the sort of partitions on the USB stick now so what I'm going to do is pause the video and then come back to it when it's all done and the desktop's installed. Okay so that's now all done so let's reboot and have a little look around. There we go. So this is installed on a little sort of gigabyte bricks I've done a video on ages ago and um, we've just got it lying around so I thought I'd give it a go on this. I've tried it on the laptop as well um, before this just to see the process so um, I just sort of click next and everything and then just installed it. Um, on the USB, but I've re reformatted the USB and started fresh just so I could do this with you fresh I and mean, sort of actually take it in. Um, how are we getting on? Um, I haven't had to use any wireless drivers or anything, I'm straight off Ethernet. I know there's um, a little sort of I think there's a GUI there to so sort of set up your Wi Fi or at least select your Wi Fi networks, um, but without a Wi Fi card or anything, and we ain't going to be able to have a look at that. Okay, if you've encountered graphics driver problems, you can choose SCFB here. The SFCB driver doesn't support accelerated graphics, but will work on most systems. Let's just go with the auto detect for now. Have I hit enter? Oh, there we go. And here we are. Um, so yeah, you've got a plank at the bottom and then you've got a tint two panel at the top there, I do believe. Let me just go on to uh, system, yeah, so that's a tint two. Oh, it's installed both file managers as well, so I'm going to assume that selection was to set Funar's default in the installation. So let's check the internet's working first of all. There we go. Alright, let's just get some There you go, so your internet's working. I'm just gonna get a plank theme. Um I don't mind the transparent theme, but I'd rather have like a shade. I like the shade theme here. So let's just open that with that. And let's extract shade. And we shall extract it to the home. So your user is Nomad. So let's go to Control H to show hidden files. Dot local share uh, plank themes. And we'll extract it there. Extract. I don't know if that's done anything there. Let's have a look. So let's go into the preferences. Ah, it has, but it's kept the whole sort of file tree sort of thing so let's go into our home folder so this is Funar is this Funar? No, it's Funar isn't it? yeah Funar 1.8.9 so let's go and show our hidden files again dot local share 
um, plank themes, plank themes master. So we want to get all of these and cut them and just chuck them there. And then let's just get rid of this folder. Yes. Right, so if that's all gone to plan, I think we'll have to close it first. I don't think it will repopulate it. No. So we'll close, we'll reopen this and then that should let us change it to shade. There we go. So that's shade and then let's make it a lot smaller. Let's say about 32. Yeah, let's go for 32. Okay, nice. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So let's have a little look around them. So you've got tint who panel at the top and then you can switch between open ones there or you can sort of use your plank at the bottom to launch and minimize from the bottom. So let's just minimize all of this and let's close that. So I do believe this is open box and you can edit the menu to sort of show things how you'd like. So let's go to start from the bottom. So Com Compton is your compositor. GVIM, HP Device Manager, Leafpad, Text Editor, Plank, Sakura, Terminal, Vim, Arx, Archiver. Um, as I said, yeah, it's installed two file managers there. Opto Package. Ah, this is the um, like the GUI package manager, isn't it, for FreeBSD that I haven't actually seen yet. So let's um, let's get a package. So um, GIMP's already there. Let me think of something. I'm just going for Tmux. Right, install, commit. The following package needs to be retrieved. Can, so you can run it in terminal or you can just click yes and it will do it for you I suppose. So enter your password. Updating FreeBSD repository catalog. Sorry about that. Hmm, what's going on there? There we go. PKG streamer plugin lame has a pet. Right, does that actually work? Let's open up a terminal and just see if Tmux is installed properly. Yes, it is. So let's try that again. Yep, all is working well. Okay, cool. Let's exit that. Cool. Right, so Tmux is working. So that's um, yeah, that's fairly straightforward. Package manager for a GUI. Um, let's try something a bit bigger. So what have we got installed? And in? so we've got the full LibreOffice suite. File Scylla, oh, File Scylla out of the box. So here's the Wi Fi networks manager that I was talking about earlier that we're not going to really be able to have a look at. I don't think there's a Wi Fi. Yeah, there's no. Okay. Um, there's. I don't actually think I've got any Wi Fi anyway, but Ethernet will do for now. Um, okay, let's install Caden Live from here if it'll find it. No. KDE in Live. Let's try that again. There we go. I was just on the wrong selection. I was on installed. So again, install, commit, and then a little pop up will come asking if we want to do it in the terminal or proceed with the GUI. So there are all the dependencies, etc. And it's going to be a 489. Um, I'm going to go through with it anyway just to play around with this. I'm not. You know, I'll, I'll format this stick again at some point anyway, so it's, I'm not really too worried. So let's do it. So I'm going to leave that to do that. Oh, better type in the password. Okay, I'm just going to minimise that and leave that in the background while we have a further look around. So you've got your clock here, and if you click that, it goes to your calendar selection. Audio controls, which is just DSB mixer, and then you've got your devices, uh, your drives here, and sort of removable devices. I'm going to assume. So you've got Firefox as your web browser. You'll use Sylphseed. What's this then? I mean, I've never heard of this. Okay, so you use a email client. I'm not too familiar with. C 
So I've not, I've not used this before. Um, so only about. Um, okay, I can't say too much about how good this uh, email client is, but I'm sure it's fine. It's probably just quite lightweight to go with the overall desktop sort of package, if you like. Okay, so down at the bottom here, you've got a leave button, so you can sort of shut down, leave, log out, and etc. And it should pop up with something there. But let's go to cancel. You can also have a timer, lock screen, suspend, reboot, shut down. Okay, and then you've got GIMP that it comes installed with MPV. Gini, IDE, Leafpad. Okay, so let's have a look at what we're taking in RAM sort of. 717, active 140. Okay, okay, let's close this one. Um, I'm going to see if it's got snapping and well, window snapping and everything sort of installed out of the box. It doesn't. Um, I do believe this is open box though, so that can all be set up for you to do that. Let me just go on to settings here. So yeah, open box it uses for your window manager. Um, it's been a while since I've used open box to be fair. Um, but I do remember I've had it running and I've managed to do some keyboard shortcuts to get it to snap. Mind you, I haven't tried the shortcut, but I'm trying it with the mouse. I wonder if it's got any snapping. No, not that I can see. Okay, so the super key is binded to your, you know, sort of like right click if you was on the desktop sort of thing for your applications, and then you can leave from there as well. Let's close this. So let's get rid of Control H. So you've got desktop switches here as well, so you can add new desktops. Let's add a new desktop, and then let's switch to it. Desktop 2. Let's go there. Okay, um, so I'm sure if we set up our keyboard shortcuts, um, I don't know what the defaults are. Let's have a look, see if we can find them. I just go on my other desktop, don't I? Desktops, desktop one, yeah, I'm definitely going to want a keyboard shortcut. Okay, so we've got shortcuts here. Do I thought I saw um, something about it on the website? Let me just go onto the website. Mm, there it is. So let's go to. Da, 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 da. Let's go onto the hand back here. Let me just type in shortcuts on here. No. So is there anywhere for the keyboard? Da, da, da. Troubleshooting. Oh, I could have swore I saw something. I must be ah key bindings my bad. Alt F two open control space. Ah, so it's got that as well. Hmm. Huh, okay. Let's get rid of that. Um is that the only key binders that it's got? Sort of out of the box, is it? Um, let's have a look. I'm sure it's got some sort of sane defaults. So I'm just sort of hitting a brick, bit of a brick wall at the moment. So it comes with hex chat and pigeon as well, and then transmission for your torrents. Okay. So can you close from there? No. So you'll close all of your applications from the bottom here. So is that done? Is that done? Let's have a look. Let's go on to. It's going to be audio and video. Caden Live, no. What's going on here? Right, I think that's still going or it sort of got stuck somewhere. No, I don't know. Desktop preferences. Let's go on to desktop preferences for a moment. A desktop manager is not active. Okay, I'm not too sure what that's all about. Um, where was I? Settings, okay. Let's go to customize look and feel then. 
There we go. Is that the XFCE one? I think it might be. Or is it LX Appearance? What is this? Oh, where have we gone? I don't quite know what that did. Did that close it? Or did it move it onto another desktop? No, it closed it. Okay, let's open it up again. Um, where was we? Settings. Customised look and feel. So what other themes does it come out of the box? It's got Arc out of the box. Perfect. So is that done yet? ETA seven seven minutes and seventeen seconds. No, I don't think that's nowhere near done, is it? No. Okay, let's um, let's open a few packages anyway, and um, we we'll just see how it sort of handles everything. You know, bearing in mind this is all running off a USB on f a not a very powerful little computer. To be fair, let me open up LibreOffice. Writer, and let's also open up Farfuna Sakura, and I'm going to open up PC Man FM as well to see what that looks like on here. Um, where am I? System. Boom, boom, boom. File Manager PC FM. Okay, so not too dissimilar from. No, oh, actually no. See, that looks quite nice with the arc theme there. No, not bad. Right, so let's have a look at the alt tab switcher. So it's a sort of a list like so. Ah, there we go. We've got a keyboard shortcut for switching desktops. So the keyboard shortcut for switching desktops is Control Alt and then directional keys left and right. So that's nice as well. Um, I'm going to play around with this a bit more on the channel. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to say channel, but I'm going to play around with it a bit more and see how I get on. But I'm probably going to keep a USB stick with this on. This seems like quite a nice package distribution. Sorry, distribution. Don't want you call it in BSD. Sort of package operating system on a USB stick, if you like. And I think it's pretty damn good. The um, installation process, very easy. Didn't have any issues with that. And I liked the choices it let you make. Um, overall, yeah, happy with that. Um, if you've enjoyed watching this, please subscribe and I shall see you on the next one. Bye-bye.